Odie Loke Sports Info here, back with another vid for you guys. Yeah, y'all, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so y'all can be notified of this reel because y'all know Odie Loke keeps it real. Yeah, y'all, so let's get into this vid. So, Jamal Charlo versus Brandon Adams, my little bro, right? And the official press conference was today. My little homie Swag was on a thousand, right? He's very confident. He's smiling as usual. So he's not worried about nothing. He's not worried about anything. Right? Because he know what he's about to go in the ring and do. He already know. See, people are really, really focusing on that John Thompson fight, right? And they don't even know the circumstances why my homie lost. They don't even understand the circumstances. See, you have to go and listen to the interview that he did with the boxing voice, with Mike from the boxing voice. And he explains it all, right? He gives you nothing but the truth. He beat himself in that fight. He tried to lose... 14 pounds overnight so he can try to get that belt. And it didn't work out. And he went in that ring dehydrated and hungry, and he got beat. Simple. And he got beat. It was all a learning experience. And, and, and this is what y'all got to understand, too. He was going through a lawsuit at that same time. He was going through a lawsuit. So he was being sued. At the same time he was in the ring with John Thompson, he had a lot on his mind, right? So he got a family to feed, right? He trying to get through this fight. Also, he's being sued. He's hungry as hell, right? He's dehydrated. Of course he's going to get beat, just like I told him. I told him that after the fight. When I talked to him right after the fight, I said, what happened, bro? He said, I tried to, I mean, well, I lost weight overnight. I'm like, you don't, you don't never get in the ring hungry. Anybody could have whooped your ass that night. Anybody. You don't get in the ring hungry and dehydrated. You're going to get your ass whooped. Simple. Now he knows that it's a learning experience, right? Just like with the other promotional company that he got sued by. It's a learning experience. He was young, didn't know what he was signing, right? And shit, he got into a contract it was hard to get up out of, right? So all this is a learning experience. Y'all got to understand, Brandon and Cannon Adams, he only had six amateur fights. Six. So he's learning on the job. All this is learning on the job, and he's getting better and better and better. And the reason that his swag is on a 1,000 is because he's very confident that he's going to go in there and beat Jamal Charlo. And that's why I'm so confident that he's going to go in there and beat Jamal Charlo, because he is. So all y'all haters, just keep that same energy. Just keep the same energy because come Sunday morning, it's going to be a new WBC middleweight champion, Brandon Adams. <laughs>